welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a while. I had a really busy month. I got married, had a honeymoon, and I just launched my new Wonder Forest watercolor brushes, which I wanted to share with you today. So as a watercolor artist and somebody who doesn't like to harm animals, um, I always found it really hard to find a brush that was 100% synthetic that acted and performed like a brush made with real fur and was fairly reasonably priced. It was really difficult to find anything, so I decided to make my own. So these are my first run of the Wonder Forest watercolor brushes. They come in a set of six in this little package right here, and they come in sizes 12, 10, 8, 6, four and two so those are the standard um, sizes I size them according to popular brush brand sizes like Windsor and Newton and so forth so they are going to be the same size when I was coming up with the overall fiber content for these brushes I didn't want anything that would fray I wanted it to still absorb properly um, and hold water much like uh, real fur brush wood and what was super important to me was that they had a really nice sharp tip because a lot of the time I know when I'm painting and a lot of you guys are painting you want that really fine detail without having to grab another brush so I made sure that each and every one of these brushes has a super razor sharp tip and another great thing about these is that when they get wet they won't fray they will simply snap right back into shape and I'm really, really happy with how these turned out. I think these are probably the most beautiful brushes that I actually own. So if you guys want to get a set of these, I will tell you right now that supplies are very limited. These have been selling a lot faster than I anticipated and we're already about half sold out. Um, I have started another order for more, but that's probably going to take a little while. So if you want these, you want to get your hands on these now, head on over to my website. I will link the link below and pick up a pack for yourself. So now you probably want to see a little demonstration using the brushes. So I'm just going to paint a really quick and sort of loose um, watercolor painting. I'm going to be creating this super cute little kawadi. Um, I love these guys. We just got back from our honeymoon in Mexico and every time we go there, these guys are my favorite little things to see. So I decided to quickly draw up one of those and paint it using a number four Wonder Forest watercolor brush. So I hope that you guys like the tutorial and check out the link below if you want to get your own brushes. And I can't wait to have you try them and let me know what you think. Alrighty, so I'm not starting with a sketch for this one. I'm just kind of following along with a reference photo and I'm just using the tip of the brush to start creating the basic outlines and dark areas of the face. Kawadis have this cute little white mask, much like a raccoon, and I'm just kind of leaving the white space of the paper to represent that. I'm very loosely brushing on some burnt umber and creating the body shape. Right now I'm just really concentrating on getting the shapes down just using the brush and a little bit of paint and water. And you can see the little fine tip of this brush in action here. It really allows me to get into those areas that need just the smallest, finest line. And I know that this painting is going to look a little funny. Um, for the first little while so just bear with me. I promise it will turn out okay I'm actually going to make it into more of a mixed-media piece I'm gonna use some pencil crayons or colored pencils however you want to say it and I'm gonna finish it off that way You don't have to do it this way. Um, I have just been really loving experimenting with different mediums in a single piece so with that first layer dry, I'm just going back over with some burnt umber and also a little bit of lamp black to darken some of the darker areas of this little guy's face. I also want to darken some areas under the chest here and where the folds of the skin are, um, such as on the back end of the animal. And I'm just really roughly using the tip of my brush and the side of my brush and some areas look a little bit more dry brushed and I actually kind of liked that effect. 
Um, I'm not really used to doing this super fast, quick, uh, sort of messy type of watercolor painting, and I actually really enjoy doing it. It's nice to just sort of create a piece like this as a warm-up, especially when I haven't been painting for about a month due to all of the other life stuff going on. So this was a good little piece just to kind of throw myself back in there and get back into painting. You can also see that the little tip of this brush was perfect for doing those eyes as well. I'm actually gonna go over those in the end with an ink pen just to make them a little bit darker and more defined. And like a lot of my paintings that you see on this channel, I'm doing this one in layers. So once one of the lighter layers dry, I go back over it with a wash of the same color, um, slightly more concentrated, so meaning less water added, just to darken those areas. And I really want to make sure that I get the face definition right. Even though it is sort of a sloppy painting, I do want to make sure that you know what this is when you're looking at it. And if you've never seen a kawadi before, like I said earlier, they are kind of like the raccoons of like Mexico and those kind of areas. I'm not sure what other countries they're in. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments. Um, but I just think they are so cute. They always come up to us when we're in Mexico and they're just, they're the most adorable little things. They're kind of like red pandas mixed with raccoons. So now I've just grabbed my Faber-Castell pencil crayons. These are the polychromos. And I'm just using similar colors just to create a little bit of fur definition, just kind of scribbling on um, some darker areas and some indications of fur. I am making sure to keep the whole piece sketchy because I did begin with sort of a sketchy looking painting, so I want to definitely keep that style with the pencil crayons. I'm just using a lighter black and, or sorry, a lighter brown and a black color as well, just to, again, bring out some of those tones and just add little bits of detail wherever I think that this piece needs it. Now I am taking my Tombow mono drawing pen. I think this is, yeah, a size one, and I'm just making those eyes a little bit more defined. I wanted to fill them in a little bit more. I don't always trust myself when I use paint to do this, just in case something happens. Um, so I like just doing eyeballs a little bit at a time with a really fine tipped marker. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the nose. I love these little guys' noses. They're so cute. They're like little snouts, kind of like little ant eaters, like mixed with a pig. It's so cute, I love them. With my Jelly Roll white ink pen, I'm just going back in and adding a couple little splotches and sketchy marks for highlights and I'm making sure to define around those eyes a little bit more because I did lose some of that white space as I was painting and using the colored pencils. So I'm just kind of adding that back in really roughly using this white pen. And I will also go through his body and just create a couple of little sketchy lines to indicate little highlights on the fur. Sometimes when the white pens dry, they dry a little bit more transparent than I like, so I like to just go over some of the areas a little bit more to make it a little more opaque. So now we are coming to the end of the video. I hope that you guys like this little creature, and I hope that you like the Wonder Forest watercolor brushes. If you got a set, thank you so much. You're really helping to support our little family over here. And if you want to get some, just click the link in my description below. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and also subscribe. I would love to have you and I hope to see you in the next video.